Kathy Wood, a prominent figure in the investment world, discusses the unprecedented challenges faced by long-duration assets due to an 18-fold increase in interest rates. She believes this challenging phase is over, marking a positive shift for innovation-oriented strategies. Wood emphasizes the bright future of innovation, as evident from her Big Ideas 2023. And we do think now that the, the shock of interest rates going up 18 fold, I think it was. We've never seen this in history. We've never seen a bond market act as badly since the 1700s. So of course, long duration assets were going to be the primary victim. We believe that chapter is over and that uh, you never say the coast is clear. There are always risks, uh, but we think we're on the other side of, of the most difficult time that innovation uh, oriented strategies have ever had. I've never seen anything like that in my career. Uh, we're on the other side of it and we think the future is bright for innovation. We're really excited, as you can see from our Big Ideas 2023. I think traditional auto manufacturers are going to have tr trouble keeping up with the price declines uh, that, uh, that Tesla's technology is enabling. Um, you know, the secret to success in um, uh, in innovation is is driving costs down. Uh, technology follows learning curves. So figure out what that learning curve is. That's a big part of our research. And in the case of batteries, uh, for every cumulative doubling in the uh, number of units produced, battery costs decline by 28%. Elon is on a different battery cost curve decline. He is leveraged off the consumer electronics industry, uh, those kinds of batteries that go into laptops and phones, uh, and others, uh, automakers and auto analysts made fun of him in, uh, I remember this very clearly, 2015, 16, 17. He absolutely chose the right technology, and I think others are rethinking it now. They, If they do not switch over to this kind of battery technology, uh, they will not be able to catch up with uh, Tesla in terms of uh, price declines without losing money. Whereas Tesla's gross margins are probably going to continue moving up on balance, even as it is cutting prices, because it's un unit volumes, uh, the, the economies of scale are going to be uh, so significant. Kathy Wood highlights the historic impact of interest rate shocks on long duration assets and the challenges faced by the bond market. She asserts that this chapter has concluded, expressing optimism for the future of innovation oriented strategies. Wood praises Tesla's cost effective technology and its role in reshaping the auto industry. Her insights underscore the significance of driving costs down through learning curves and Tesla's strategic battery technology choices. Just take institutional managers looking at Bitcoin as a new asset class, uh, and they are, and they are. Um, uh, we, we've we seen Coinbase and BlackRock hook up recently. It's because institutional investors want access to this new asset class, which uh, the, the returns of which, the correlation of the returns are low, which is exactly what they're looking for. Um, a, a lot of, uh, let me step back and just say, last year was a disaster for, uh, for crypto generally. However, if you look at the Bitcoin blockchain, it did not skip a beat. No transaction was interrupted. It did what we thought it was going to do. And uh, it is no surprise to us that Sam Bankman Fried did not like Bitcoin. Uh, why? It's completely decentralized and completely transparent. Uh, and uh, he was, he couldn't control it. His firm, FTX, was completely centralized and opaque. Uh, so we think that as, as investors reflect on what happened last year, the failures were those companies who, that were not decentralized, were not transparent. Bitcoin didn't skip a beat. And if you watch what's going on, especially in emerging markets, there's hyperinflation all over the world as their currencies have fallen apart and as their fiscal and monetary re responses to COVID um, have, uh, are, are now proving in some cases to be disastrous. 
uh, those individuals, the, 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 those populations need a fallback, an insurance policy like, uh, like Bitcoin, as do high net worth individuals who are worried that uh, their wealth will be confiscated. confiscated. Uh, inflation is confiscation of wealth. Uh, but then there's outright confiscation. Uh, and I'm sure that there are uh, there are individuals in the troubled spots of the world, the, the Russias, the controversies in China, who are uh, looking for that fallback in case something really uh, uh, wrong happens to them uh, in in these countries. Those there there are tycoons who understand what their risks are. So uh, we believe that in insurance policies, that Bitcoin is probably the best insurance policy. Just keep that key in your head. And at some point, you'll be able to cross a border and reclaim your wealth. Kathy Wood emphasizes the growing interest of institutional managers in Bitcoin as a new asset class due to its low correlation of returns, evidenced by partnerships like Coinbase and BlackRock. She reflects on the resilience of the Bitcoin blockchain during a challenging year for cryptocurrencies, underlining its decentralized and transparent nature. Wood's insights shed light on the role of Bitcoin as a potential insurance policy, especially in regions facing hyperinflation and economic uncertainties, further reinforcing its value proposition. I, I think the market's scrambling to try and understand uh, what, how AI is going to impact the world. And, Chat GPT has captured the investor's uh, imagination, which is fantastic because we believe that innovation has been neglected, uh, certainly in the last two years, uh, badly neglected. And we believe that most investors are very short innovation. Um, you mentioned our venture fund before. Uh, we have a big focus on AI in the venture fund. Um, picks and shovels are very important. Mosaic ML is a private company in which we've invested that is actually speeding up the progress with its software in uh, in artificial intelligence. So. Um, uh, the, the, the name of the fund is ARC Venture, so really, really proud of it, uh, public-private, starting now because we believe the time is now. Um, in terms of AI, you're right, a lot of what uh, we expect is productivity gains. And, uh, and so that will accrue to those companies that use AI most effectively. Uh, yes, Meta Platforms was very interesting to hear Mark Zuckerberg last night uh, focus first on AI as opposed to the metaverse. He had been focusing, he, he had been trying to push the idea of the metaverse, uh, we think, uh, before its time. Embracing AI right now and uh, introducing it deeply into the firm to create efficiencies, absolutely the right thing to do. Um, if you think about uh, the revenue opportunities, uh, they may not be as obvious. Sure, the picks and shovels you, you mentioned NVIDIA, but we believe that the hidden gems uh, that will benefit perhaps the most from uh, artificial intelligence are those companies with proprietary data sets. Now, and we use Tesla all the time as a prime example of a, lo uh, of a lot of um, uh, technology attributes. One of them is having the largest pools of real world driving data in the world. In fact, it has more of that kind of data, orders of magnitude more of that kind of data than all of the other auto uh, manufacturers uh, and technology companies uh, involved in transportation around the world. Uh, and uh, so we believe that it will have, uh, it will be in the pole position for the autonomous taxi platform opportunity, which is a software as a service opportunity with massive margins. And it's also a winner take most opportunity. The company that uh, is able to get a, an autonomous vehicle from point A to point B, the, the, safety, the, the most safely, and quickly is going to be the winner. That's going to be the go-to service. Uh, so we're looking for those sorts of opportunities. In the genomic space, 
uh, Exact Sciences. And we have models of both of these companies along with our assumptions on GitHub, actually. Uh, but Exact Sciences probably has more data uh, because of its uh, premier position in uh, oncology molecular diagnostic testing uh, than any other company in the world. And it is training the data with artificial intelligence so that it can help surface cancer in stage one. Uh, so again, here, the company with the most data, the most proprietary data, uh, and the right, right domain expertise and AI expertise. So those three things, domain expertise, these uh, are uh, scientists with a deep yeah. understanding of biology. AI expertise and data. So those are the kinds of companies we're looking for. In her analysis, Kathy Wood highlights Tesla's advantage in battery technology, the growing interest of institutional investors in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, and the transformative potential of AI. She emphasizes the importance of proprietary data sets and AI expertise for companies to thrive in innovative domains such as autonomous vehicles and genomic diagnostics.